Hey guys, Mike from the Ratchet Collectors. The eShop is flooded with good and bad games. So where does Baseball Riot for the Nintendo Switch fit on this list? Is it a game that you should pass up or a game you should grab? Stay tuned. Today I'm reviewing Baseball Riot for the Nintendo Switch. I would like to thank 10 Ton Studio for providing me with a review code for this game. Baseball Riot is a physics-based puzzler along the lines of a game like Angry Birds. 10 Ton Studio has also released a similar title, Tennis in the Face, for the Switch. The story starts off as you are Gabe Carpaccio, a former baseball player who was injured and forced to retirement. Once Gabe realized that his former team was to be sold to an evil corporation, Gabe hits the field once more. Baseball Riot is anything but a baseball game. Instead, you're pitted against angry fans, players, and even umpires, each of which needs to be taken down in various ways to progress to the next level. The pros of this game are quick in and out gameplay, good physics, fun in short bursts, and a variety of enemies. The price on the eShop isn't too bad either. At $4.99 Canadian, it's not a very bad price for a game that you can get countless hours to. I know I spent at least maybe 10, 15 hours into this game. It's fun in short bursts and you play up to 100 levels, which isn't a bad thing, but it does get repetitive as you play more and more. When you're playing something like this, it's kind of something that you would play on a mobile phone and when you're playing this on a console, it gets kind of old fast because I know when I was playing Angry Birds on a phone, it got old pretty fast. You know, play a little bit of the level and then you turn it off and you go about an another game that you would play on your mobile phone. And this was one of those games that I found very, very tedious as you're playing more and more. The cons to this game is that it's an Angry Bird clone. It's repetitive. You're playing it over and over and over again, trying to figure out how to take down each enemy and also get a three star rating in each level. I know that there's a lot of levels that I only went one star and I could care less. I was just powering through it. The repetitiveness is kind of annoying and you can only progress once you've unlocked enough stars in a certain area to progress to another area, which is kind of tedious because like I said, you're playing the same thing over and over and over again. Baseball Riot feels too much like an iOS game. Something that you could play on an iPhone shouldn't be the same as you could play on an actual console. 499 isn't necessarily a bad thing for a Switch game, but when it's similar to an iOS game, I feel that it's kind of wasted money into a game that you're playing repetitively and there's not real much content in the game. Once I completed the campaign, there wasn't much more for me to do other than maybe go back and get three stars, but I wasn't feeling that was something I necessarily needed to do. Unless you wanna unlock three stars, the replayability is there, but it's something that for me, I wasn't necessarily interested in. It doesn't make Baseball Stars necessarily a bad game. It's just a game that doesn't seem to be using the full potential of the Nintendo Switch. Something that you could play on a tablet doesn't necessarily feel like you could play on a $400 machine. So is Baseball Riot worth it? In my opinion, I'm gonna say no. For the $4.99 price point, I can get other games that I could see and play and enjoy a little bit more. If Baseball Riot was 99 cents on the eShop, then yes, it would be a good game to waste some time and some hours into. But for me, I would say pass it up. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the review. Thanks, guys.